I'm Jason Carter. Physical optimization defines my life. The day I was born, doctors nearly killed me with medical malpractice. They said I'd never walk. I've been proving them wrong for 35 years. It's easier than you think to obtain super optimal health. I've devoted my life to it, and with my help, you can too. I'm Jason Carter, and this is Enzyme Mental. And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to talk to you guys more about PQQ, or pyroloquinolone quinone, my favorite supplement of all time, the one that actually generates new mitochondria. So as the primary engines of almost all bioenergy production, your mitochondria rank among the most vulnerable to destruction from oxidative damage. PQQ is actually a potent free radical scavenger that provides your mitochondria with superior antioxidant protection. So unlike other antioxidant compounds, PQQ's exceptional stability allows it to carry out thousands of these electron transfers like any other antioxidant would, but without undergoing molecular breakdown. And this, like I told you before, is what makes PQQ exponentially better than something like vitamin C. It's about 5,000 times more efficient than vitamin C, in fact, specifically at supporting mitochondrial energy production. And being that it generates new mitochondria, PQQ actually provides far more benefits than any other conventional antioxidant that most people know about. So PQQ's capacity as both a signaling modulator and an exceptional antioxidant immediately renders it optimally effective in combating degenerative diseases and also age-related diseases in the heart and the brain. So specific to the brain as a neuroprotective agent, PQQ supports the entire central nervous system. It actually reverses cognitive impairment caused by chronic oxidative stress, and this will manifest as improved memory performance performance. It has also been shown to protect against the oxidation of the Parkinson's disease gene, otherwise known as DJ1, which of course is an early step in the onset of that disease. Also, reactive nitrogen species, like reactive oxygen species, are extremely stressful to damaged neurons. They arise spontaneously following stroke and spinal cord injuries and have been shown to account for a substantial proportion of subsequent long-term neurological damage. PQQ actually suppresses reactive nitrogen species in experimentally induced strokes. It also blocks gene expression of inducible nitric oxide synthase, or INOS, which is a major source of reactive nitrogen species, and you typically see this with people who have spinal cord injuries. As far as the brain, PQQ powerfully protects brain cells against oxidative damage, especially in those following the inflammation and oxidative damage that result from the sudden return of blood and nutrients to tissues deprived of them by stroke. We call this ischemia reperfusion injury, so given immediately before induction of a stroke, PQQ can significantly reduce the size of the damaged brain area. PQQ also interacts in a beneficial manner with our brain's neurotransmitter systems, and in particular, PQQ protects neurons by modifying the important NMDA receptor site, and uh, of course NMDA is a powerful mediator of exotoxicity, which is a response to long-term overstimulation of neurons associated with many neurodegenerative diseases and seizures. So, PQQ also protects against neurotoxicity induced by many toxins, which include mercury and other heavy metals. And as I've told you in my prior video on PQQ, one of the reasons that I like PQQ so much and why I call it the nutrient of the future is because for me personally, PQQ has helped my brain better than anything else I've ever taken in my life. And like I told you, it's also improved my speaking ability. And when I say it's helped my brain, I'm talking about long and short-term memory, learning, cognition, and that's important for anyone, but it's especially significant for me because I've had a lifetime of brain trauma beginning with the severe brain damage I endured when I was born, and I'll tell you about that in a separate video at some time. So, as you can probably figure out, mitochondrial dysfunction and also mitochondrial deficiency has been linked to virtually all degenerative diseases, and this can include conditions like Alzheimer's disease and even type 2 diabetes and heart failure. And in those of us who are aging, researchers have recorded evidence of mitochondrial damage in the brain cells of humans over 70 years old compared to those in their early 40s. So as you age, 
that increases the risk for mitochondrial damage, obviously. And with mitochondria being the energy furnaces of all your cells, you can really see how mitochondrial optimization is a huge determinant behind overall longevity and wellness. So while CoQ10 is the energy of your mitochondria and actually optimizes mitochondrial function, to, to recap on this, PQQ actually activates genes that govern mitochondrial reproduction, protection, and restoration, while also giving you potent cardiovascular protection and defense against brain degeneration. And that's why I say, again, everyone should be taking PQQ. There's quite a bit more I want to tell you about it, but uh, I wanted to go a little bit deeper today into what PQQ is and how exactly it supports mitochondrial biogenesis. And if you're going to take PQQ, the recommended dose, the one used in clinical trials, is, again, 20 milligrams of PQQ. And ideally, if you can take this with at least 200 milligrams of CoQ10, this would be the ideal blend. So PQQ by itself is beneficial, but when you pair it with CoQ10, as I told you before, that'd be the optimal way to take it, ideally in a soft gel, once a day in the morning with food. 20 milligrams a day is the dose that has resulted in improvements on tests of higher cognitive function in groups of middle-aged and elderly people. So both Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease are triggered by accumulations of abnormal proteins that stimulate a cascade of oxidative events resulting in brain cell death. PQQ actually prevents development of the alpha-synuclein protein associated with Parkinson's disease. PQQ will also protect nerve cells from the oxidation of the amyloid beta protein linked with Alzheimer's disease. And a study in 2010 revealed that PQQ could actually prevent formation of amyloid beta molecular structures. So again, guys, as I told you before, PQQ stimulates the production and release of nerve growth factor in cells that support brain neurons. So this may partially explain why PQQ supplementation usually results in significant improvement of memory function. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzymental. Stay healthy.